Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss one of the indirect proofs, which is proof of the contrapositive. There are two kinds of indirect proofs. First one is proof of the contrapositive, and second one is proof by contradiction. What is proof of the contrapositive? Suppose we have a theorem H implies C. The proof of the contrapositive is based on the contrapositive law. We know contrapositive law is or law of contrapositive is H implies C is logically equivalent to negation C implies negation H. This is the law of contrapositive. So our proof of the contrapositive is based on this law of contrapositive. So consider this theorem H1 conjunction H2 conjunction H3 etc. conjunction Hn implies C where H is our uh, hypothesis and uh, C is the conclusion. Now by law of contrapositive this theorem is ecologically equivalent to uh, negation C implies negation this. This is H implies C, this is H implies C. So by uh, law of contrapositive, we have negation C implies negation this H where negation H is this. Now here we can apply the De Morgan's law. By De Morgan's law, we have this is nothing but negation uh, H1 conjunction H2 conjunction H3 etc. conjunction Hn is logically equivalent to negation H1 uh, disjunction negation H2, disjunction H2, etc. Dis disjunction negation Hn. So, this theorem is logically equivalent to this and this is logically equivalent to this. So, we have this theorem is logically equivalent to negation C implies negation H1, disjunction negation H2, disjunction etc. disjunction negation Hn. So to prove this theorem uh, by using this proof of the contrapositive, actually we need to uh, prove this uh, contrapositive. So to prove this theorem, we are just proving this. This is the contrapositive of this theorem and we have to uh, prove this. That means in this case, we, we will assume uh, the conclusion is false. Conclusion C is false. That is, we, we are assuming negation C is true negation C is true means uh, C is false then we have to show that uh, negation H1 disjunction negation H2 disjunction etc disjunction negation Hn is true that means we need to show that negation H1 is true or negation H2 is true or negation S3 is true etc or negation Hn is true that is we have to show that H1 is false or H2 is false etc or Hn is false. That means we need to show that at least one of these uh, His is false. So to prove this theorem by using the contrapositive, so we, we are just using uh, the contrapositive law and we are going to prove the contrapositive. So just the contrapositive is this, that is we have to assume uh, the conclusion is false and then we have to show that uh, uh, some hypothesis HI is false. Then we proved the theorem. That is the proof of the contrapositive. Now we can discuss an example. Prove indirectly if the square of an integer is odd, then the integer is odd. So here we have to prove that if the square of an integer is odd, then the integer is odd. We can prove this by proving the contrapositive. So it let x be an integer such that x square is odd. That is x is an integer uh, whose square is odd. So to show that to show that x is odd. So if x is an integer such that x square is odd then x is also odd we need to show. So here this is the hypothesis and this is the conclusion. So by contrapositive law, we have to show that if x is not odd, 
that is if x is not odd then we have to show that x uh, x square is not odd that is the our proof of the contrapost so we assume that assume that the conclusion is wrong conclusion is wrong that is x is not odd x is not odd integer so we assume that the conclusion is wrong so by the proof of the contrapositive we have to show that uh, the hypothesis is also wrong here we assume that the conclusion is wrong that is uh, we assume that x is not an odd integer so we have to show that x square is uh, not an odd integer since x is not an odd integer we have uh, x is an even integer therefore x can be written as x is equal to n where n is an integer therefore x can be written as uh, 2 into n so therefore x square is nothing but 2n whole square which is equal to 4 into n square this can be written as 2 into 2n square since n is an integer we have 2n square is also an integer so it is of this form 2 into some k where k equal to 2n square is an integer because n is an integer so 2n square is also an integer so we can express x square is equal to 2 into k where k is an integer therefore x square is an even integer therefore that is x square is a multiple of 2 so x square is an even integer so we assumed that the conclusion is wrong that is x is not an integer uh, not, not an odd integer then we assumed that uh, x square is an even integer that is x square is not an odd integer so the hypothesis is wrong therefore the hypothesis is is wrong so when we assumed that the conclusion is wrong then we obtain that the hypothesis is also wrong therefore x square is odd integer implies x is odd by proof of the contrapositive now we can discuss the proof by contradiction in the next lecture so you try to do these problems yourself